yeah hi hello I'm hanging out in my patio garden again because it's a lovely day lovely Sunday and um, I have discovered something something many of other people have discovered but it's it's new and exciting to me and I wanted to share it with you uh, and that is quill pens quill pens you know like they're they're amazing honestly um, I just I just love them I've been working with them lately I just went to the art store and was like oh yeah I wanted to try drawing with quill pens um, Alessandra one of my friends and followers and awesome um, artist lady uh, she was recommending that I try some quill pens and I've had it recommended to me a few different times so I finally got some supplies um, so I just picked this up from the from the art store and uh, it was a bunch of different nibs uh, so far I've only <laughs> drawn with one um, and it came with a couple little stips that you stick the nib into uh, these little metallic uh, and then Danny he pulled this out apparently he used this uh, in school and has just had it apparently hiding um, so now it's his mine I get to use it and it's so pretty and romantic I feel like like some Victorian lady uh, when I'm working with it and um, yeah I don't know it's just pretty epic super old school and uh, there's something romantic about drawing with a quill pen that I'm just I just can't get over um, but uh, anyway uh, last last weekend is when I started working with quill pens and um, here are this is my first one that I did this is the first quill pen drawing so basic third eye lady, creature lady. Um, I got really messy. Um, I started kind of channeling Ralph Steadman, which is definitely one of um, uh, an artist that inspired me um, when I was younger. Um, so I was kind of rediscovering that um, with the quill pen and had a lot of fun making splatters and just kind of being messy. Um, it was a nice departure from my super controlled usual pen and ink uh, drawings that I do with the Faber-Castell India ink um, artist pit pens I believe is what they're called I use the extra small and I get all into it but um, yeah the the quill pens are great I got a, there's a huge range of line weight that you that I could have that I could access easily and then I got to be all messy and crazy and Ralph Steadman-y um, so that was the first one um, and then, let's see, I also did this one and I stained it with tea afterwards. Here she is. Call her the Urban Goddess. She's got like a cityscape kind of floating on her hair. Um, and again, lots of splatteries and stuff. And it's stained with rooibos chai tea and hibiscus tea. Um, this is actually available in my Etsy shop, um, so check that out. I believe it's 60 bucks uh, for an original illustration, hand stained with tea. That's uh, in my Etsy shop. This is also another one that I did the same day, and it's inspired by one of my um, fairly recent uh, sketchbook creations, and um, I kind of recreated it on here with a quill pen and I love the way the quill pen lends itself to my style because like I said it, it, it allows me to do really fine detail but also allows me to be a little messy and scratchy and um, emotional with with my pen so um, this is kind of like a mer lady kind of a Victorian um, bust portrait of um, some sort of mermaid and there's like weird roses and anemone and seashells and stuff and pearls in her hair uh, nice little scales so this is also available in my Etsy shop so check that out that is lucidopticlab.etsy.com um, 
But yeah, I should probably just go over some of the materials I'm going to use because I am going to do some quill penning right now. Uh, yeah. Um, but, um, so yeah. So you've seen my quill pens. Um, I just picked up some Higgins Black Magic because it said it was super ultra um, black opaque um, and it's waterproof which works because I want to tea stain a lot of my drawings usually so um, I wanted to be waterproof so um, yeah and this is black magic ooh kind of witchy um, so yes and then the paper the paper that I'm using I just was working with what I had at home I have a pad of this mixed media Canson um, paper so it's good for acrylic and watercolor and pen and pencil and just whatever mixed media um, and it's got a nice weight to it and it has a very light kind of tooth um, so it works almost like a watercolor and uh, it takes the the ink really well so that's what I'm using so uh, what do you say let's get drawing huh Okay, so, um, yeah, I remember how I was like, oh, we're going to paint on the patio and it's going to be lovely. Well, just as soon as I started painting, a bunch of cars were pulling up and it was noisy. And then there were, like, neighbors moving things around. And then a huge flock of crows decided to descend into the tree by me and just create a ruckus. And then I spilled ink all over my <laughs> drawing that I was going to ink. So luckily I um, prepped with three possible drawings so I'm gonna move on to the next one which is um, the space lady um, so anywho that's uh, that's what I've been dealing with let's try this again all right so I am working a little bit differently than I normally do when it's just me drawing um, because I am standing up <laughs> because my usual desk where I can sit down and record while drawing um, that is completely occupied by my big mural panel so um, I'm over here in our little living room nook um, painting in what is kind of like our one of our computer desks um, so kind of not ideal kind of standing up, it's a little awkward, but we shall persevere. Um, and, you know, I don't know. Because of quill pens and how kind of scratchy and guttural they are, I'm not too worried. Anyway, sorry, uh, my battery just died and I forgot where I was, so... Ah, this has been quite the ordeal to make a simple video, huh? Um, anywho, I love how guttural and intense uh, this pen and ink uh, with quill pen can be. It's just like super interesting. Um, it's definitely made my style change a little bit, and um, which is good because I'm always telling myself I need to loosen up a bit. Um, I get so wrapped up into details. Um, and, uh, yeah, so this is, this is kind of good for me, because you can do this. Ooh, ooh, splatters, splatters. That's fun. I'm a splatter fan, which you probably know if you've seen any of my tea painting videos. <laughs> I always end up going crazy with splatters. But anyway, I'm like... I'm in one of those moods where I want to throw everything away. <laughs> I want to throw everything away, um, and except for like my art supplies and plants. <laughs> um, I want to declutter my life. Um, I also just really want to redo my art space. Like as soon as. My six strong panel is out of the way and installed, which should be uh, next weekend. Um, I want to completely redo my art space. Um, it's really just not efficient the way I have it set up, and uh, I think I could really use like a like a work desk that has drawers. Because right now, I just heap 
all of my supplies and my um, art and stuff like that just onto in piles on my table and then I just I don't then I don't have anywhere to work you know so um, I'm gonna be looking for something like that to uh, replace my big art table with do more of like a desk with drawers and I'd love to have a little hutch as well so I could put put a couple little knickknacks and some plants on it and make it all party so I'm looking forward to that um, but yeah I, I really just want to like I just feel like reorganizing and um, throwing a bunch of shit away it's amazing what we accumulate um, you know everybody you know I mean we just kind of like we're in this society that's you know consume consume buy things you don't need um and then also as an artist you just you collect art supplies and anything that might you, you might be able to work with like I'll, I'll i'll like stop on the side of the road and grab things of cardboard i'll grab big wooden boards oh i can spray paint on this you know like it's just kind of ridiculous and then um, and then having art friends that are also in the same boat who are like, gosh, I just need to, you know, get rid of a bunch of shit. Um, you end up with a bunch of free art supplies, which, you know, initially is a wonderful idea until you realize you don't have any room for it. Um, so that's, that's where I'm at. And that's why I really just would love to, uh, get rid of some stuff, like, right now. Um and kind of revamp and reorganize. I guess it's like the time anyway. I mean, it's, I guess it's not really spring anymore. I, I, I don't know, but definitely kind of spring cleaning kind of vibe going on. Um, might be a little late to the party, but yeah, that's kind of how I'm feeling. Bones. Get up in here, add some little detail and shadow and wispies. Little freckles. Yeah. I'm pretty stoked uh, that six strong panel I just finished last night um, or yesterday I guess uh, I had a really nice relaxing day yesterday it was my Saturday I didn't have to work for um, so that was kind of different lately you know I don't know I've been working two jobs I have an office job, and then I've been working as an art instructor at the Loaded Brush. And uh, so it's been crazy trying to, like, you know, do those things and also do art and also be a human being. Um, but I didn't have to work at the Loaded Brush this week, so kind of got to sleep in and work on some art projects and spend some time with my cat and my man. So, it's actually been really nice. I finished my mural yesterday. I added the final touch, which was a paintbrush, in the hand of my Frida Kahlo slash Sailor Moon hybrid. hybrid. Um, so, uh, I'll definitely have to show you that. I've, I've been documenting a lot of the process, and I plan on releasing a video it is kind of like a compilation of all of my little weird little random footages that I've grabbed. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'm also going to get some video of it being installed along with the six other panels from the six other female, uh, local female artists. Um, it'll be good. It'll be good. I'm excited.
But other than that, um, a fellow, a friend of mine was over, um, and, uh, he was like, so what else do you have going on? What, you know, where's your next show? Um, I don't have one scheduled and I'm actually kind of okay with that right now. Um, I kind of feel like I need some time to re-up my art because I feel like I'm kind of running low on art as it is. So I kind of need some time to focus on creating some art and restocking my Etsy shop with a bunch of stuff. Right now the only thing that's really in there is a bunch of prints and my tea paintings. Um, so I'd like to do some more acrylic paintings and stock that up. I've got like a bunch of broken skateboard decks which are some of my favorite um, things to do paintings on and I can offer them for cheap since they're kind of like a like a kind of recycled scrap material, broken skateboards. Um, so I want to work on that and I want to get my art space all set up. Um, I want to kind of recharge and, um, and then, and then I can start kind of considering, uh, opening myself up for some more job, for some more, uh, art shows. But, um, really just been having fun doing some commission work. Um, that's kind of been what I've been focusing on other than the jobbies and stuff. Uh, and the mural panel is um, commission work. And I'm actually really enjoying it. So if, if anybody watching this uh, really likes my pen and ink and my tea staining, um, feel free to contact me. I have a whole little spreadsheet that I can send you that it's like a list of um, how much and you know what size and all that how much it would be to commission me to do something custom um, and I also just recently did a commissioned acrylic painting which was nice it was nice kind of break from some of the pen and ink and tea staining I kind of miss acrylic paint so um, that was nice uh, and I got to hand deliver the commission um, to the lucky lady, birthday lady. Um, her friend had commissioned me to paint her something and he just simply was like, look at her at Instagram account and just pretty much draw or paint whatever you want in these colors. So it was a really kind of fun, loose uh, commission and uh, she seemed to really love it and it was super nice meeting her and uh, that's kind of fun. It's fun when you can meet people in person who buy your work. Because art can be so personal. Like you put all this energy and soul into it and then somebody buys it and it's gone. And you don't know where it goes. You don't know who this person is, which, which is great. There's like a mystery in that. There's like a beauty to that. But it's also just kind of fun to, to uh, meet the new owner and kind of, you know, see you know where your your piece is going to be living I also love seeing photos from customers like where my art ends up really piques my interest so yeah I don't know I'm not sure if I'm going to tea stain these or if I should just list them as pen and ink illustrations. I have a really hard time not tea staining everything I draw now. Um, so I probably will. This will probably end up a tea staining. Um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying watching the process. It's, uh, it's fun. I'm just having so much fun scribbling around and splattering rambling at you. So hopefully you're having fun watching. This space suit makes no sense, but this is the way I tend to draw my space ladies. They have like, you know, like the big bubble dome that keeps oxygen or whatever they breathe in there and then um, 
like a it's like a big neck ring kind of that connects into a suit. Uh, and for whatever reason, I always draw the same kind of glass bubble on their um, on their shoulders, like shoulder pads. Maybe they have some sort of. St I mean, they're they're probably not 100% human or human at all. So maybe they're maybe their shoulders need to breathe. I I I don't know. It just it just looks cool. That's why I do it. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't draw and paint my space ladies as much as I'd like to. I came up with my space lady concepts probably like three years ago um, for, um, for fun. And I started drawing and painting. I did like a big mural for this art show. And uh, she kind of became one of my favorite things to draw. But... I forget, forget about this character. So, it's kind of fun. Go back. So I'm gonna kind of do some scratchy stuff along the bottom of her helmet because that's kind of where I feel like a lot of the shadow on the glass is gonna collect. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. Maybe even some scribblies. back in here, weed out some of this, do some shadowing. So like this chick's kind of bald. She's got some little random peach fuzz that kind of sprouts out of the head there. There's definitely some envy in me when I see people who have short hair. I just never imagined my dreads would get to my knees in like six years, seven years of growth, um, and here I am, <laughs> and, uh, don't tell anybody, <laughs> but I've been really thinking about cutting my dreads this summer, um, maybe for my birthday, as much as I love them, I just, uh, I don't know, I think it's it might be time. I have some exciting changes coming up that I have alluded to in my last um, video. Um, and I think if these things come to fruition, it'll kind of be an end of an era. And I'll uh, really, maybe for the first time, really consider cutting my dreads. Every summer I say I'm going to cut them. But I think this is the first time that I've like actually... I'm serious that I might really do it. Um, for whatever reason, you know, I you know I did I did my dreads with some specific intention and during a specific time in my life, and um, it might be an interesting kind of cleansing ritual to actually depart for, with them, but um, depart from them. But uh, I get really sad too when I think about it. Happy and sad, so conflicted, so conflicted, so we'll see. But that bald head is just makes me very envious. Very, very envious. Alright. 
looking pretty good and scratchy. Let's see, what else do we want to do? stuffs. Kind of weird galactic-y. Maybe a little Saturn right there. How about a bunch of splatter, splatter, splatter. Channel some Ralph Steadman right now. They're like stars, kind of. She is out in space, so. That was fun. That one's about done. I'm gonna let that dry. Um, give you some detail. See how scratchy and rough and kind of just kind of guttural compared to some of my other work. I like it. I like the freedom. I like the freedom of this quill pen stuff. Um, sorry for all the technical difficulties and from like switching from patio garden to like in the studio um, that is what it is I'm gonna go back out on the patio and enjoy a cup of tea now <laughs> and kind of relax and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching as I played around with quill pens um, yeah quill pens are awesome and expect a lot more of these uh, quill penny dry videos and um, I might even do a video of me tea staining that one, the space lady that I just did. We shall see. Um, yeah, uh, don't forget, I am still looking for help. Donations really help for the Six Strong Mural Project, that big panel that I have. We're actually really below um, the funding that we were actually hoping to get. Uh, and essentially we're raising money to make sure that all of the artists, including me, get paid. So uh, if you are interested, just a dollar, five bucks, just whatever, I don't know, whatever you can afford, go to gofundme.com slash six strong. Ooh, look at all this paint, or ink. Got it. Look at um, that would just mean a lot to me. And also, if you are interested in supporting me on a more monthly basis, me personally, my artistic path, uh, you can do that. I've set up a Patreon account. So that's patreon.com slash Chelsea Rose Arts. And I have kickbacks starting at a buck. You can um, enter art raffles. Um, there's, it's like a dollar, four dollars, twelve dollars, all these different tiers. And I offer things like um, exclusive coloring pages and coupon codes and uh, art prints and uh, art raffles. So um, anyway, I just really appreciate your support. So if you want to do that, that is patreon.com slash Chelsea Rose Arts. And um, check out my Etsy if you're wanting to grab anything up. Got, got lots of uh, tea stainings and original drawings in there right now, plus some prints. So that's lucidopticlab.etsy.com. Um, Till next time, my dears. Much love. Mwah. Bye.